Back now at 7.38. How many times have you heard it? Breakfast is the most important meal of the day, but a lot of us, especially kids, skip it because they just don't have time. There are some back-to-school breakfasts your kids will love and that will also increase their brain power. Here to tell us about some of those fun breakfasts and good-for-you breakfasts, too, is our fitness expert and fitness mom, Lisa yes. Lynn. These are yes. kid-inspired. Oh, totally Right? Inspired. You've got the inspiration. Mm -hmm. And you know the thing is, everybody, all of us, we're not just talking to kids as we were talking yeah. in the green room. All of us make time for junk food because our sweet tooths cost. None of us make time for the right food. Right. Oh, yeah, we're all in a hurry, and, and breakfast is easy to skip. It's easy. Yeah. You know, you get, you're trying to get everyone ready Correct. in the morning, and then you forget to get yourself ready, well, right? Well, this is my fussy eater who is the best <laughs> teacher I've ever had. All right. My 13-year-old will eat anything you give her yep. out the door, makes time him. It's got to taste good. Oh, but the of problem course. is it can't all be carbs because carbs let your insulin levels rise up, and then they plummet back down. And let's face it, most quick breakfasts carbs. are carbs. Like I hear this all day. gave my daughter a glass of orange juice. Well, great. She jacked her insulin levels up. They drop down by the bus ride. They land at school time to learn. No more brain power. Yeah, left. a bagel protein. and some orange juice. <laughs> and look, sometimes like he, he doesn't like protein. So the first thing we did was this is a very kid friendly protein shake yep. called the Chunky Monkey. Frozen <laughs> banana, peanut butter for good fat. Okay. Um, obviously, I put some skim milk in it for him and two scoops of powder. Now, in this little tiny cup that I have here that could be grab and go to the bus stop, he can drink all of his nutrition in one little thing. Yep. And sometimes I sneak oatmeal in there if he's really underfed because he's a light. Wait. That'll thicken it up a little bit, right? And you saw him make his favorite, I call yep. this Kyle. Yeah, what oatmeal. do we have here? All right. We have a little um, oatmeal yep. and two scoops of powder. You've got a total meal right there. So okay. you add a little hot water, they go out the door with a portable spoon, and they're eating while they're at the bus stop. The oatmeal's good, the powder gives you the, the, uh, the protein. protein. And almost every kid I've ever um, given this to loves the chocolate, makes it it's really good in here. Okay. Almost too good. The third thing, which the reason there's only three here, is I was trying to make them during the storm last night, and every time I turned around, they were gone. Uh -huh. So this is what I have left is over. They're so good. <laughs> These are kind of, I call them Mommy's Magic Cereal Bars. They're um, Cheerios that has oat brand in them. Just a little bit of marshmallow, smart balance, it's got a 50-50 blend, good fat, there yep. isn't any bad fat in them. And then, again, protein powder in there. To, to just, you just need a little cap on your bottle, so to speak, to keep your insulin levels even keeled. One of the things, you can get these kinds of things. You can get like the healthy morning shake you can. in a can. You, you can. can get a breakfast bar. You can. It's better if you make it yourself though, it's isn't it? It's always better. And you know, as a very last resort, like I hear this from a lady, I gave my son a Rice Krispie treat. He loved it. And he's mm -hmm. a skinny kid who looks like he swallowed an inner tube. He's got this <laughs> waist section. And this is a problem in our country with oh. obesity. Or, and they could be skinny fat, we call it, because their insulin levels are too high. And that's just it, is, is you, you, especially with, with children, you want to get them started early. Totally. Eating healthy. Right. right. And don't underestimate grab-and-go Cheerios. And having hard-boiled eggs is a great trick for kids, moms, whoever, yep. to have. Because carbs are easy to grab. Protein is not. So yeah. you need some backup plans here. A chicken leg is pretty tough to grab out well, of the refrigerator, and you know what, but it's not a bad will, idea. No, it isn't. And, and grab and go in these Ziploc bags yep. is key because I'll usually have these shelled. So if push comes to shove and they come home and I'm not ready with dinner or breakfast or lunch, what a great snack for a lunchbox as well. All right, we got the chunky yeah, monkey shake. Try right? i got to try this, this and, and try one and of those you know, bars too, right? And these magic cereal bars, like you made a point, you'd be grabbing um, the little munchkins if we didn't have these. You want to encourage and motivate people and ha whatever's in your environment you're going to eat. So if you have munchkins and cookies, the kids are going to eat them. If you have these Rice Krispie or Ma Mommy's Magic Bars, they're going to grab those and at least they're eating something better because protein keeps you satisfied longer as well. That's not bad. Yeah, it's very good, isn't it? Lisa Lynn, thanks very much. Thanks, thanks for, for the inspiration. Us. All right, if you want the recipes, they're online, WTNH.com. Come on over to our Good Morning Connecticut weekend section of the website. It's all there for you. Healthy breakfasts, no excuses. All right, 742, there's more to come on Good Morning Connecticut. We'll check the forecast for you as you have your breakfast on this Sunday morning. A live look from our camera in Middletown. We'll be right back.